It is time for Christmas Cafe. We've invited another guest to have coffee with us and even more so to share some music with us. Our Made in Manitoba guests are special to us. We get to know them and if we're lucky enough, they return. Mary Blatz has returned to the studio. Hello, Mary. Hello. All right. Mary, uh, you stopped by, uh, well, what was it, a couple years ago with your first CD. Last year. One Last year, year ago. One year ago. Yep. Now, Mary, how old are you now? I just had a birthday. I'm 88, I'm afraid. You are 88. <laughs> That's something to be proud of because we wouldn't guess that. Now, um, Mary, we've invited you to Christmas Cafe to sing us one of your favorite Christmas songs. Hard, maybe. Was it hard for you to pick a favorite? No, not at all. Not at all. What have you chosen for us? I have chosen the one that spells Christmas by Jim Reeves. I'm a big fan of Jim Reeves, and I chose that because it's easy. <laughs> yeah. and, and it's, it's one of your nice favorites. Song. Will you play it for us now? I could. All right, here we go. C is for the Christ child born upon that day. H is for herald angels in the night. R is our Redeemer, I is Israel, S is for the star that shone so bright. T is for three wise men, they who traveled far, M is for the manger where he A is for all he stands for, S means shepherds came, and that's why there's a Christmas day. Oops. <clears throat> G is for three wise men, they who traveled far. M is for the manger where he lay. A is for all he stands for. S means shepherds came. And that's why there's a Christmas day. And that's why there's a Christmas day. Mary, amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. 88 years old and what a voice you still have. Do you feel that you, you, you know that you encourage others that are your age or or that are thinking about how long will I be able to make my music? You're an encouragement to all of them, aren't you? Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> because I enjoy what I'm doing and I'm doing quite a bit of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's amazing and even your agility on the guitar is so impressive. Mary, do you have some Christmas preparations that you're doing now? Uh are you have some traditions with your family? Well, not really outside of that. We always have a family gathering and, and that's one thing we usually do. But otherwise everybody has families, they don't have time for Sure. Too for, much. For for <laughs> For too many functions outside of their own. Yeah. Do you still do baking? Oh, yes, definitely. Do you have a favorite? Favorite Christmas cookie? Well, Nanaimo bars is one thing I usually always do. And, of course, popcorn and and then the old-fashioned chocolates that I make. Yeah. There's one daughter, granddaughter who really likes those. Yes, homemade chocolates. So that's about what I do. That often happens, right? You get requests, right? They have their favorites that grandma makes. Exactly, yes. Well, you're one of our favorite Manitoba musicians, Mary. Thank you for joining us on Christmas Cafe and Merry Christmas.